Hello, I am a geotechnical engineer and today we are going to discuss the fundamentals of biocementation. Did you know that there are billions of bacteria living in our soil? There are many species of bacteria and they all serve different purposes. While some bacteria can be harmful, other bacteria can potentially work in our benefit to improve soil properties. One of these advantageous bacteria is Sporosarcina pasteuri. In recent decades, researchers have explored the potential of this bacteria to simulate the natural cementation process through urea hydrolysis. When the bacteria receives sufficient concentrations of nutrients, cementation can occur on the surface of soil particles and at their contact points. Bacteria prefer to hang out at particle contacts due to the availability of nutrients and the lower stresses in these cozy locations. When urea is introduced to the soil bacteria system, the bacteria will consume the urea as a nutrient source and produce several byproducts as a result of urea hydrolysis. These byproducts include ammonium and carbonate. This reaction creates an alkaline environment. Because of the increase in pH, the bacterial activity can be monitored using standard methods, such as pH test strips. When the environment has reached the optimal pH level and calcium is introduced to the system, the carbonate byproduct bonds with the available cations and precipitates as calcium carbonate. This process can be repeated multiple times to create varying levels of cementation, depending on the application. The level of cementation influences the improvement of soil mechanical properties. One of the important properties often used in geotechnical design is the shear strength. One common method used to evaluate the shear strength is through laboratory triaxial testing. Let's compare the results of a loose, uncemented sand with a biologically cemented sand. The biologically cemented sand experiences a larger maximum strength than the uncemented sand. After reaching the maximum strength, the cementation bonds between particles will begin to break, resulting in a decrease in strength. Even with the bond breakage, the increased particle surface roughness enables the strength of the cemented soil to be greater than the uncemented soil. Biocementation has the potential to be used to solve real-world geotechnical problems such as minimizing coastal erosion, mitigating liquefaction hazards from earthquakes, and many more.